all big creators use these editing tricks to get our attention and make us love their videos. At first glance, as a beginner editor, it may seem complicated to apply the same techniques. But today you will transform your editing skills and step up to the next level easily and fast. I will show you the most important 3 techniques they use and how to apply them easily in DaVinci Resolve. These 3 techniques are the most used ones. So if all big creators use them, clearly it's something that you need to learn and upgrade your editing skills a lot. I will guide you through what I believe are the easiest methods without anything complicated or plugins or techniques that take a long time. Everything is easy and fast. The number one technique you see in almost any talking head video might be considered too obvious. But trust me, if you don't do it correctly, you will lose your audience attention fast. I have two simple but effective methods to create a zoom in and out. But be careful. The method number one is a simple cut, but here is an underrated trick. I am in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page and here is my video. And I already did all the cuts. What I want is to have a zoom in between these two cuts. The second one I want to be zoomed in. I will click on the cut that I want to be zoomed in. And on the top right of the screen, we have the inspector. Activate it if it's not already activated. Click on the video and in the transform tab, you will find zoom. Zoom in and you may believe that's ok, but pay attention to this. I will place the playhead between my cuts. If I press the left key on the keyboard, the playhead will move to the last frame of the first cut. And if I press the right arrow on the keyboard, the playhead will move to the first frame of the second cut which is zoomed in. I will press the left arrow again and place my mouse cursor on my eye. Now, without moving the mouse, I press the right arrow again on the keyboard and I can see that the eye is not in the same spot. What you need to do is to go in the transform tab again and use the position values to adjust the video and keep the eye in the same spot. Like this. When we watch someone speaking, our brains are searching for the eyes. And if our eyes are jumping on the screen from one place to another, our brains will get tired searching all the time for the eyes over and over again. It's so important to try to keep the eye in the same spot. The second method is to create a smooth zoom in and out, not a jump, but a smooth zoom in. For this, go in the Effect tab effects again and drag in your timeline an adjustment clip above your videos and align the adjustment clip with the video that you want to zoom in. Now it's super simple, we need to go in the fusion page to make the zoom to be super smooth and look professional. Select the adjustment layer and go to the fusion tab. Go to the first frame if you want your zoom to start from the beginning of the clip, click on the media in one, press shift space and search for transform. Now add this transform XF. Next activate spline which is on the top right side of the screen. And here you will find the transform tab. Add a keyframe for center and one for size on the frame where you want your zoom to start. And let's pretend we want a fast zoom in, 10 frames. Move 10 frames right, you can use your right arrow on the keyboard. And now add again one keyframe for the size and one for the center. And adjust these two keyframes to create the zoom in as you like it. The next thing to do is to select these four keyframes on the spline and press the S key on the keyboard to create this smooth and professional zoom in. And now look how nice this zoom in will look in the cut page. Of course, if you want to copy this, all you need to do is to hold the option key on the keyboard or alt on windows and drag the adjustment layer to create a copy. Position it above the clip that you want to zoom in and that's it. And if somewhere you want to zoom out, go again in the fusion page, find the spot where you want your zoom out to start and add the keyframes again for center and size. Move let's say 10 frames again to the right, add again the keyframes, adjust them, select again the keyframes on the spline tab and press S to create that curve. Now you have a smooth zoom in and out that you can copy fast on your entire project. The second technique, this one is used more and more these days because it's so effective and it's about text. We see text on the screen in many forms and I will show you two super important variations. The first technique, a simple text with a background and the second one, how to unveil some lines of text if you want to create curiosity. First step, go to effects tab again, click on titles and drag text on your timeline. Here on the right side, you can add your text adjust the font, 
size and all the classic things you need to do for a text. Play with them and adjust everything to be as you like it. If you scroll down a little bit, you can find the background. Here adjust the height, the width, the color and the opacity or the corner radius if you want that. And you have a simple but effective text now on your video. But watch this, to unveil some lines it's super effective. Let's do it. Let's add first a background. Let's go again in the effects tab, go to generators and add on the timeline a solid background color. And on the right side you can adjust the color, let's make it black for this example. Now let's add three lines of text. Go to effects, title and add the first one above the background. Add your text and adjust the size, the position, everything. Next hold the option key on your keyboard and make a copy. Change the position, change the text and do the same with the third one. Now we have three lines of text. Let's cover them up and unveil them in the easiest way possible. Create a free track between them. Just drag them to create space. Now go to generators and add a solid color above the first line of text. Change the color, let's make it blue and crop it to look like a line that will cover the text. And now go to video transitions and drag at the end of your solid color the edge wipe transition and on the angle value here add minus 90. And now when you play it, this transition will uncover the text. Copy the solid above the next line, adjust the crop and the position and now the next unveil will be exactly where you want. Do the same with the third one and you have your unveiling text. Of course you can add a nice background instead of the black solid if you want, you can adjust the sizes, just play with them and be creative. And now I will show you the third technique which is extremely effective but first I want to quickly show you how to do that nice typewriting effect. Go again in the effects tab, titles and add text plus this time. Add your text, adjust the size, font, color, everything and after go down to write on. Move your playhead where you want your text to start to appear and create the first keyframe and drag the right dot to the left. Move the playhead where you want the typewriter effect to finish, create another keyframe and drag the right dot to the right. Now between these two keyframes the text will appear like it's typed on a keyboard. And if you want a background for this one, add a solid behind it, crop it and maybe make it to fade in a little bit. Ok, now let's go to the third technique and this one it's about adding some effective popping things around you. Because I want to show you a simple method and avoid for the moment the fusion tab, I can recommend you this simple method to make the icons or other graphic elements that you want to show up around you in Photoshop or Canva or other software you know. Create your graphic in that software and export it as PNG. I believe that this method is the easiest one at least for me. Sometimes I just want a good looking great graphic element to add on my videos. Of course, you can do these kind of elements in a video editing software, but it's much harder and it will take you a lot of time. I don't know, I find it sometimes to be tricky to do these kind of elements in a video editing software. And to do it in, an, in a software like Photoshop or Canva or even PowerPoint or Keynote or something like this, it's much, much faster and easier. And also, for this kind of softwares, you can find templates, a lot of templates and those uh, those templates are great looking templates made by made by big graphic designers so this is super cool and easy this is why i use this method and i find it the easiest one you can add that png file super easy add it like a normal video drag it on your timeline make it as long as you want adjust the size the position and after that you can start to find some effects if you want to create a fade in, the easiest method is to make the track a little bit bigger, this corner will appear here, drag it as long as you want and the graphic element will now fade in. If you want other effects, you can add almost all video transitions at the beginning of your elements or at the end of it. 
just try them, find the perfect transitions for you, and now you can add a lot of effective elements around you. But you can do all these things, be a great video editor, do all the tricks that big creators do and still produce low quality talking head videos if you don't take care of the next super important step. I have a dedicated video where I will show you exactly what is the next step and what to do to create awesome talking head videos and stand out from the crowd.